In this video, we'll go over how to complete the initial setup of your Cobra 1080p Wi-Fi security system. Complete this initial setup before you install the system in its final location to ensure all equipment is properly set up and communicating. You'll need a TV or monitor, HDMI cable, a Wi-Fi enabled router, a PC to adjust your router settings, and a mobile device. Power up the cameras with the included power supply. Connect the mouse to the NVR base station with the USB cable. Then connect the NVR base station to your TV or monitor with the HDMI cable. Finally, connect the power adapter to the NVR base station and plug it into an outlet. The unit will boot up once power is connected. The next steps will involve the NVR display on your TV or monitor. Use the connected mouse to complete the following steps. After booting up, the cameras should automatically connect to the NVR and begin transmitting video. Create an admin name and password for your system. Write down or save this login information in a secure location. You'll need it when setting up the mobile app. Unlock the NVR by entering the password you just set. Click Start Wizard. Ensure DHCP is activated. Most routers use DHCP by default. If your router doesn't use DHCP, check your router's owner's manual for further information on manually assigning an IP address to the NVR. Next, you can set the date and time for the system, including daylight savings preferences, or setting a network time protocol. If this is the first time your system has been set up, you'll need to format the hard disk drive. Select the drive and click Format HDD to complete this process. Verify the output resolution corresponding to your TV or monitor, then finish the setup. Once the setup is complete, right-click the mouse to bring up the menu, then select the Setup button. Click on the Network tab, then under the General section, click Port Configuration. Verify P2P switch is activated. Click on General, Wireless, and the Scan button to find available Wi-Fi networks. Double-click on the desired network ID. Enter the network password and click Apply. Once the NVR connects to the internet, it will say, Already Connected. Right-click to return to the home screen. From the home screen, right-click to bring up the menu and click on the System button. Then go to the Information tab. Write down your NVR's IP address. Leave the information screen up with the QR code visible. You'll need it again later when setting up the mobile app. Now you can set up the app on your mobile device. We'll use an iOS device to demonstrate the app setup, however both iOS and Android are supported. The setup process for Android is very similar. On your mobile device, open the camera app. Point the camera at the relevant QR code on the back of the NVR base station. Once the QR code is identified, tap to open the App Store. Install and open the Viewer app, RxCam View. Approve all the requests. Tap the plus sign on the top right. Select IPC slash NVR slash DVR. Point your cell phone camera to the QR code on your TV or monitor screen. This is the QR code displayed in the system information screen. Enter the password you created for your system. Once it shows connected, tap on the play icon to access the NVR from your mobile device. You can tap on the desired camera feed to enlarge the view. If you're still having difficulty connecting to your NVR from the mobile app when away from your Wi-Fi network, you may need to set up port forwarding in your router settings. This process will vary depending on your specific router model. We'll show you an example of the setup process, but refer to your router's owner's manual for more complete instructions on how to set up port forwarding for your device. On a PC, open a web browser and enter your router's IP address into the address bar. This can be found in your router's owner's manual. The most common router IP address is 192.168.1.1. Log into your router. On this router, port forwarding is located in the Advanced Setup options. Indicate port forwarding and enter your NVR's IP address that you previously recorded. For service name, select HTTP or Web. Add it and you should see port 80 added to the service list. Verify that the mobile app can now connect to the NVR. Once your NVR, cameras, monitor, and mobile app are all properly communicating, 
you should be ready to install the cameras in their final location. For additional support, visit harborfreight.com or call our customer service number.